Welcome to Season 2, Episode 5 of Chris Cast. My name is Chris Abraham, and this episode is about sleep apnea and my treatment and my BiPAP and how amazing it is. So welcome to the episode, and I'll try to keep it under 10 minutes, try to keep it 8 minutes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. The segment is to follow. Thanks for being here. So, a lot of people are using sleep apnea machines called uh, CPAPs or BiPAPs, CPAPs. Uh, they put a little pressure on your face and make sure that you do not go into a uh, sleep apnea, which is that your, um, your breathing passage closes up and you end up holding your breath and you pretty much stop breathing for, uh, any number of times during the night. And that can result in reduced oxygen to your head and it can completely mess with your sleep and it can result in in not only terrible snoring but also really weird and troubling like stopping breathing that can really be insane making to your partner in bed and can start yourself awake and result in all kinds of things like heart disease and uh AFib and arrhythmia and early death and diabetes. It's just a terrible thing. Sleep studies are no joke. Um, three years ago, I almost died. I, uh, my heart went into crazy rhythm. I, I, I'll tell this story another time, but ended up in the hospital. Um, and, uh, um, it was having heart failure and went into AFib, which is an arrhythmia. And uh, they sent me to a sleep uh, study and I got the results, but never went ahead and, and ordered or got the prescription for the uh, CPAP or BiPAP machine. The BiPAP machine is basically a respirator. Um, they're smarter now, but they basically check to see whether or not you're breathing and then breathe for you. Uh, if you're breathing normally, they just sit there and wait. And if you stop breathing in and out, the sensor goes and goes. And fills up your lungs. So for eight hours a day, my ResMed Air Curve 10... What is that? Air Curve 10 ASV, uh, Humid Air S, whatever, uh, breathes for me eight hours a day. Fill it with water, keep it clean, and it, it keeps me basically from holding my breath and, and shorting my brain of oxygen. Uh, it's incredible. I got to tell you, uh, if I had known how many of my friends from college, mostly dudes in their 40s and 50s, um, have been using um, CPAPs and have been treating their sleep apnea for, for over a decade from in their, some of them in their 30s, I wouldn't have been so resistant. I would have done this 10 years ago had I known that my snoring was going to really mess with my health. Uh, uh, it, it makes me almost angry that this isn't something that's more that um, the cult of the CPAP or the cult of the BiPAP isn't more uh, positively used. And, and it doesn't sound like an iron lung. I don't think, I think if a partner had to choose between you being on a very modern, quiet ResMed Aircurve 10 
or snoring your head off and keeping them awake and requiring them to use earplugs or sleep in the next room or kick you out or completely push you over, uh, the quiet, quiet, quiet uh, noise of the BiPAP is probably not going to be the thing that gets you kicked out of bed. Um, and you know, uh, before the BiPAP, I was having real problems with AFib, um, even with the treatments and the um, cardioversions and the drugs and all these other things. And now if I, I've pretty much given up drinking completely, not even casually, a um, little bit of coffee during the day for sure. But with the BiPAP, um, my heart has been in sinus rhythm um, so reliably. And my Fitbit speaks to that every day. Um, it's amazing. So when I did my sleep study, and then finally my second sleep study, and then a third sleep study, they made me do it again. I basically stopped breathing between 40 and 50 times a night. No, 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 no. 40 or 50 times an hour. And, um... And last night, so yeah, so for real, 40 to 50 times an hour I would stop breathing. And last night... I slept for eight hours. I was in bed for nine, slept for eight hours, got okay sleep. I'm never always going to get the best sleep, but I only had 3.6 events per hour. And every time those events happened, my BiPAP uh, breathes me in. I, if I, if I wake up while it's happening, I can feel the pressure. I can see my, it's like having an iron lung well, for eight hours a day. I joke with my friends that for eight hours a day, I have beautiful, beautiful yogic breathing. I'm a yogic breather for eight hours a day. I can't say enough about it. So if you think that you might have sleep apnea, if your partner is always kicking your butt because you're tossing and turning and snoring like crazy and and stopping breathing and they become aware of that, I highly encourage you to tell your doctor about it because it's not, it's not the mark of Cain. It's not a terrible thing. It's pretty amazing. So the way it works is there is a machine and it looks, it looks like a humidifier. It's got a vessel for denatured, well, whatever, uh, for clean, clear water. And then there's a hose, and the hose has a a um, kind of a a combination heating element and um, armoring uh, spring around it all the way to a mask. And some masks just cover your nose. My mask covers my entire face. Like it looks like sort of like the mask, a combination, it, it sort of looks like a clear version of the mask that fighter pilots put over their mouth and nose. Um, but more realistically, it looks like the, uh, the tri-cornered, triangular, triconal mask that you receive in a hospital if you're being uh, provided uh, with if you're on a if you're on a ventilator that's not intubated, or if you um, are receiving oxygen, and you're receiving oxygen through your nose and your mouth, um, like during surgery or during a procedure, oh, not obviously when you just have a little a little uh, line with uh, two little ports up your nose, um, and it's all clear and. Uh, ResMed does a great job of providing um, replacements and, and clean filters and pads and all that other kind of stuff. Um, 
but that's what the experience is like. I strap it to my face before I go to bed uh, in about 15 minutes to half an hour, depending on how I program it. Uh, it sort of just breathes for me naturally, giving me time to relax and to sleep. And once I start sleeping, it really starts beating the band. It really breathes for me. Like I said, it's sort of like yogic breathing all night long. I feel like I'm in a highly oxygenated experience all night. Calms my heart down, lowers my resting heart rate, gives me well-needed deep, deep sleep, makes my Fitbit sleep tracker so happy, and prevents me from popping back into AFib, and for that I'm extremely grateful. Um, so if you even remotely think that you are slowly killing yourself or slowly smothering yourself by virtue of not having a clear pathway to your breathing, uh, even if it's from inflammation or from allergies or whatnot, you really should ask your primary care physician. Thank you, and I uh, uh, really appreciate you listening. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for visiting. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Did I say that twice? I always thank people effusively because I really appreciate you spending the time listening to my words and my funny voice and subscribing to my podcast, which is basically just stuff. And I'll talk to you next time. Mahalo. Ciao. Gracias. Grazie. Danke. Dankuvel. Merci beaucoup. And au revoir. A demain. Hasta mañana. Etc. 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 Mm.